Hello Captains of Modern Warships is proud to announce the first season of our new show The Seas of Prey they promise to tell you more about it and today is the day this event is not dedicated to any national or professional holidays The Seas of Prey is a survival reality show that combines the best traditions of the genre each season will feature its own unique theme and the first one would be the spirit of combat and harsh competition the rules of the show are simple if you want to take part in the event all you need is to play any of of the four modes one of them domination is new to modern warships similar to a regular battle the combat involves two teams of five players the main difference is the additional victory conditions depending on the map this mode features three or four key points that players need to capture and hold to get a point under your team's control you need to get inside the circle around the beacon that serves as the flag and stay in that circle until the capture is complete if a player leaves the circle the capture process is reset if players from opposing teams enter the circle the capture capture is paused if multiple allies are in the circle the capture takes less time and once the point is under your control you're free to leave it the enemy team will start losing their score until it reaches zero the three other modes should be familiar it's the quick game the offline game and the squadron wars who progress in the event and get your rewards you'll need special points entrant badges you can earn these in multiple ways for achieving victories in any battles for destroying enemy ships and for capturing areas in the new domination mode moreover special missions will be available throughout the event that will net you entrant badges and watch out leaderboard scores but we'll get back to that in a while now what's this all about besides loads of fun this event also offers you loads A new generation naval artillery system with digital fire control and automatic loading the Odo Leonardo 127mm a unique flag for the first season of Seas of Prey that embodies the unbeatable military might and the spirit of competition one of the most advanced Turkish long-range crews. Missiles the Etmaka and finally the main award the first ever in modern warships the long-awaited Mi-28 NM Havoc it carries some cutting-edge equipment a 30mm cannon and a rotating turret suspended gun pods with twin quick firing cannons a large ammo pool and the capability to attack both surface and aerial targets and of course guided air to air and air to surface missiles basically it has anything and everything a true attack helicopter needs players will also be able to obtain special lock picks required to open up the gotcha drone you can purchase them in the shop as well you're probably wondering what that gotcha drone can drop well here's a sneak peek this time you'll be able to get the domination grounds flag depicting the legendary site of the domination mode location site of the domination mode location the us navy's high energy helios laser system The Turkish supersonic low observable by Bayraktar Mayas drone the triumphant skin of Missouri a treat for the bravest who survived the seas of praying and last but not least an Italian flagship landing helicopter dock the 1-9890 its trees this one has a whole bunch of assault and defensive weaponry auto cannons torpedo launchers missile launchers and on top of that an entire wing of attack aircraft helis and strike drones to keep up the spirit of competition and give you a chance to contest even after the show is over we've created a couple more things for you they're offering two ratings one with the number of gotcha drones unlocked and another one with the number of points another one with the number of points missions same as last time the top 100 players in each rating will be awarded with special prizes the reward distribution is simple and fair the higher your position the better your rewards and those rewards include no less than four avatars and a unique flag Malik El Hassan a ruthless fighter and one of the few winners of the game rumors say the organizers themselves bet on his success Camille Bernard an experienced mechanic with a passion
of Seas of Prey possible Pablo Estrada, a survival specialist and the winner of the game, he's so good he uses his skills casually in an elegant offhand man even creating his own survival methods and leaving all other teams far behind and the entrant spirit flag, it shows the entrant badge. For the first season of the Seas of Prey a symbol showing that you took part in this ruthless game, it'll certainly look proud on any warship together with the domination. To Samurai, it's named after a couple of volcanic islands. The first one is active, threatening to explode at any moment like a samurai before a strike. The other one is its opposite, calm and tranquil between the volcanoes. We can see some tiny isles with Japanese villages, steep rocks, and green hills. Sprayed with cherry blossoms in between those aisles, there are some tiny boats of the local fishermen. The famous tori enhance the atmosphere. Those traditional Japanese gates usually found at the entrance to temples. Their foundations are a little submerged to mark the beginning of the holy waters. And if you're still watching, we're gonna show you one of the main new vehicles of August. Please welcome an experimental ground effect aircraft, the Pan Spatial Argonist. This machine's mission is to provide quick fire support to surface and coastal ground forces with an amazing maximum speed along range and a wide choice of missile torpedo and cannon armament. This is truly dangerous opponent for any naval target which is also protected by a provide quick fire support to surface and coastal ground forces with an amazing maximum speed along detection range and a wide choice of missile torpedo and cannon armament. This is a truly dangerous opponent for any naval target which is also protected by a quick firing machine gun air defense system. That's it for today. Good luck progressing in the event tell us in the comments how your battles are going and what prizes you've already scored happy watching